What's that for? Hand and toy! Oh, and his toy. Let's go. And his toy. And his toy. And his toy. Come on. Oh, come on. Watch your cartoons, mate. Just leave her. Come on. All right. Whatever. Um, I hate when you say whatever. Why? It's just like you're like 18. Whatever. 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 <laughs> This email is titled, I need a little help. Hi Dina and Sid, I want to start by saying first of all, I don't mind if this doesn't get a video on it, but it is though. But I would really appreciate just an email, but you got a video. I've recently been feeling really down, uh, down for a number of reasons, including school, family and overall stress. I, fo I found it hard to be motivated to do anything I used to love and I've become too anxious to go out most of the time. I've spoken to my friends and to them it doesn't seem to be a serious thing and they don't seem to care at all. I feel so unloved and unwanted. To add to all of this, my family fight non-stop and I don't know what to do anymore. It, it's just so hard to stay positive about everything. Uh, sorry I got a bit off track there, but my question is... Do you guys have any advice on managing anxiety and depression during school and other stressful situations? Japande here. Listen guys, don't be anxious because the thing is, if you're anxious, just get one of me. Get yourself a cat. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm so nice. He's massive, isn't he? <laughs> look how big this cat is. Yeah, look at him. Look how big. Look how humongous. Oh, Chaplin, you look are. How, look how humongous you are so... this cat is. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> look at his legs. <laughs> anyway, right, whatever. You know what, honestly, I know we've said cats before, but cats are... Miracle oh, they, they, workers. I'm they telling really you, for are. stress, they are really, they... They really help. You have no really idea. They really do help you out. Chaplin, what Chaplin. are you oh doing? Oh my god, he's like five foot tall. He's reached our light He's height. standing he's up standing like that. He's standing up on it. We should have showed you really well, whatever. Yeah. yeah it's okay. So, anyway. I think a big, big part of handling, uh, oh my god, don't Chappy, do that. don't touch it. Let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Okay, we've got a lot of tips for uh, managing um, anxiety and the stresses of day-to-day -day life because there Family is very problems, many. School, school, all of that. Exams. Yeah. Oh, we've Looking got a few good. tips. First tip would be, Eat well, wellish, as well as you can. With some good, good food rather than burgers and McDonald's all day. We like to do that sometimes, but you know, most of the day we're eating well now and we've been more productive. Uh, happier. Happier. More upbeat. Less stressed out. Me and Sid's diet before was horrific. For real. Every damn day. It was takeaway. Takeaway. Takeaway or That's something. Fast food. Or just like takeaway, sandwiches and food. junk. Every day, and you know what? We were waking up late every day, not productive, not getting stuff done, just being like, just being slobs, being annoyed and depressed. with each other, just like, not against, yeah, like complete slobs. And since we've been on this new diet of ours, okay, we've messed up a few times, but overall, our eating has become a lot more healthy. Our skin's improved, our you know moods this, have improved. Another thing is, you know, an empty stomach makes me really productive. I don't know, it really, it really like fires up my, my system and I That's get more true. done. Because when you have an empty stomach, if you have a massive meal, then you it feel makes like, you lethargic. You, if you have a massive meal and you feel sluggish, you just want to like, you just like, oh, I got it. Yeah. You know? So eating little little portions and stuff like that, I think eating has, plays a big part in stress. And if you are, we don't know if you're a Muslim or not. So if you are, you know, if you drink alcohol and maybe you smoke, you know, just quit. Quit. Um, <laughs> I'm just shaking this toy in her face now. <laughs> okay, quick. Uh, another thing that's very good, and do you know what? It's probably the best thing to do is exercise. Mm -hmm. When you exercise, it releases all kinds of like happy hormones and stuff like yeah. that. And um, I know it's difficult to get started on the exercise, especially if you're like, ugh, I don't know what. Start off side. slow. But everybody will agree with this, even if you're not a massive fitness person half an hour of exercise once you've done that you feel so much better you always feel so much be so much better after you've exercised and while you're exercising get some good music 
have a good time with it, you know. And if you're not a person who exercises, dance, dance, or walk, go for nice walks, mm. you know, something Ride like that. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. You go, go out. Just go out. Do some kind of exercise. It doesn't have to be going to the gym on the treadmill. Kind yeah. Of you run to the shop. <laughs> run to the shop. Get yourself a chocolate. Yeah. You know. But no. the thing is, if you're not a mega, uh, you know. Oh, I forgot. Oh my god, it's totally gone from my head. Well, I had something really good to say. It's just gone. But exercising is 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 a big deal, and in turn, you will be even happier with your physique or how you look. You so know that's what I'm not going to get you down. So you know, and what win-win situation? It'll get you less stressed out, and you'll be happy with happier with the, with what you have. With body, how you look. Body-wise, yeah. Yeah, so if you're having a really bad day and you're like really feeling sorry for yourself, like, oh, it's a difficult day, your whole family's arguing, it was a crap day in school, things aren't going your way, just always think it could be so much worse. Yep. There's always somebody who has it worse off than you and most likely a hundred times worse off than you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just, if you think like that, you'll remember to count your blessings and you'll start noticing your blessings around you more. Yeah. Okay, if your family's arguing, your family is still all living under one roof. Your family, yes. they're arguing, but they're still... You've got a family. You've, you've got a family. You've got a family. You know? You've got a house that you're living in, for God's sake. You know, sometimes, sometimes I'm like, some days I'm like, oh my God. Some days I'm like, FML, I can't deal with this. Serious, it's just the worst shit ever. And then I sit down and think, what the heck, what am I on about? I've got it so much better than millions of people in the world. And basically... And just, you know what? Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, be grateful and just be like, I'm blessed. If something is really stressing me out, I just be like, do you know what? Whatever, it's gonna happen. Whatever hap whatever's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I'm just not gonna give a shit about it. I'm just gonna let like it he's happen. He's not gonna let himself stress about that. Yeah. That is also easier said than done, but just have that mentality. You know what? Why am I worrying about this? Why? Why yeah. am I? Why am I stressing about something that's gonna happen, whether I like just, it or not? Just go, relax, chill out, and forget about it. Yeah. Completely. So if you're getting stressed about school, let's say you've got a project, let's say you've got something you've got to present the next day, you know you've got to do it. Just prepare yourself and just think, why, I'm not going to get nervous from this two days before, let me just get the, let, let's just let the nerves kick in half an hour before I have to pre present it. Why, don't stress about, don't stress out about things that you can't change. And you're in school, I would try, you know, there's clubs in school and everything like that, try something new, go to one of the clubs or, uh, there's there's loads of extracurricular activities going on in school. Extra, we sound like stuff. teachers, don't we? And there's loads of extracurricular, extracurricular act activities. activities going on in school. And you know, they, no, seriously, if you let yourself, they could be fun. And you really know what? Could be. You know what you need to do? You need to take time out and have a laugh. Whatever makes you laugh, go and do it. So if it if it's maybe sitting down and watching YouTube videos, watch YouTube videos and have a good laugh. Good, have a good hearty laugh, like. In years, kind of laugh, you know. Oh. You need that every once, don't you? Yeah, I you need think that I... with a bit of ice cream and hot chocolate brownie at the same time, and you'll be good. Do you know if you're stressed out and you're anxious and depressed, chances are you're not getting a lot of sleep. She's laughing at you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sleep... She's like daddy talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> sleep plays a major part in you being stressed, stressed out, like seriously, and. Um, right now I'm stressed out. I've only had an hour's sleep, but that's uh, for no reason. That's because of, probably because of this baby. Uh, look at these bags. I've had one hour sleep. One hour. One hour. But that's a different subject because you're not a parent yet. And I think the minimum for a teenager is actually nine and a half recommended. Oh, is it? Yeah, nine and a half hours. Uh, recommended. Go I to always, bed early. Always have your five a day. Yes. Basically, don't give yourself time to sit there and feel sorry for yourself and dwell on things that need not dwelling. Yeah. Don't give yourself that time. Instead, use that time wisely. I know it's difficult to do when you're 16 and all you want is a burger and big brother, but... She's 16. I No, I'm just guessing because high school. You're probably watching this late. Get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get off Instagram, get off Twitter, get, get off YouTube. Get off YouTube and get some sleep. Get some shut-eye. Get some shut-eye, yeah. Because I'm about to go to sleep. 
right now because in about two hours I've got basketball practice and I don't want to be fainting on the court. I've lost a lot of weight as well. Loads of weight. Man's got a six pack and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Get over yourself. <laughs> That's how people in Dragon Ball Z power up. <laughs> If you're feeling stupid and lethargic and dumb and you're stressed Scream. out and you're anxious, just go. Ah! I look like that. And all the blood rushes to your head, then you're like, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Get yourself psyched up. Let's do it. Yeah, let's psych, do yourself it. Up. psych yourself yeah, up. Psych yourself up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Get a Lucas Come A. Come on. Work. Yeah. No, Lucas A's junk. Yeah, Lucas A's shit. Bye. It's got caffeine in it. All right, see you.